Hi, welcome back to the Knit for Brains podcast. I am Alicia Gifford. I'm Laura Brady. And this is episode 30. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> um, this is a knitting podcast. Crocheting, sewing. Whatever. All crafts. Um, you can find us on Instagram, Ravelry, Facebook, Etsy. Please remember to... I'm all out of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and comment below. Join the Ravelry group for fun. There you Speaking go. Speaking of which, that's a good lead-in, huh? No, 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 it's not. No, okay. Sorry. We'll just sit here then. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> if you've joined us before, or if you're a member of our Ravelry group, you know we have a hat a -thon going on right now. Um, it goes until March 31st. We're not going to go through all the rules on here. Uh, we've done it on previous podcasts, and it's also listed on the Chatter Thread and the FO Threads, which there are two of. So far, it's going along pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got 52 entries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we've had more <clears throat> doma donations made for prizes. We're going to do a run-through so far of, like, things that will be... That we have for prizes. Um, some of them we've mentioned before. So um, Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. is going to be donating two yarny surprises or prizes. Mrs. Price Knits is um, donating a copy of her Ripple Bun Beanie which also included in that is the pattern for doing it without the bun hole. Cheryl from Hypnotic Yarns is donating a copy of the Liana hat pattern, which um, if you've watched before, you've seen it. And I also completed another one, so you will see it later on. It's a really, really cute hat. Check that off. Oh, I didn't. I meant to bring my iPad in so I could show a picture of it. We'll see it later. That. This one? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, Tristan of Dragon Horde Yarn has uh, donated a copy of her brioche hat pattern. It's a pussy cat hat. Yes, and it is perfect if you guys were thinking of um, trying brioche, brioche, because she said it is a like beginner brioche, so it would be a good first project. It's a perfect first project. <clears throat> also, um, Molly Klein of Molly Klein Designs has donated two copies of her Fast Fade Beanie, which I have sitting right here, the one I completed. Great for scraps, great for um, mini stains. And then our last one here was donated by my sister, actually. <clears throat> she had some fabric printed up um, with the Knit for Brains hat kits on it, mm -hmm. the Team Laura and Team Alicia, and sent to me, and I am making bags out of it. And one lucky winner is going to win a sweater size bag bring it back a little bit. Now this is what I'm calling my Alicia, um, my team Alicia has the pink handle. It has the pink backside, but I can't get a, I can't let Alicia go away with being all Alicia. So bam, Laura snuck in. <laughs> you know, I can't let you just be Alicia. That's awful. <laughs> and then the um, needle keeper, which will come with it as well, is pink on the outside, blue on the inside, and I believe I'm going to make up um, a set of stitch markers, and there'll be other stuff also included in it. And this is our big ginormous sweater size bag. We originally were going to do um, hat bags, but the uh, panels were so large for me to do a, um, a hat bag out of it, you wouldn't get both the Team Laura and Team Alicia. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is also going to be one of the surpri the prizes. Why do I want to keep saying surprises? Surprise! Um, one of the prizes for the hat -a as well. It's so cute, isn't it? It's cute. Alrighty, so that's that for the hat -a -thon. Should we jump right in with uh, FOs? Sure. Alrighty. You want to go? I don't know. How many do you have? Three, I think. You go first. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Where do I start? I guess I'll just grab these out first. 
so guys, I finally finished my sock set from Arkansas Yarn Co. This was my Cindy Lou Who, which yes, I know it was a Christmas one and I moved kind of slow. I got distracted. I think they came out really, really pretty though. And these are my sock blockers from Knitting Left. <laughs> I get to use them finally. Yeah, I think they came out really nice. I call them Valentine's Day. I finished them the day before. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. And amazingly enough, I don't have it sitting near me. Um, this was from her, one of her sock kits, which is 50 gram of the main, and I want to say 20 of the mini. I have some left of both because that's how I roll. And I didn't do them like really, really short. Mm -mm. Um, I did put a little bit more length on them, but yeah. So I think they came out quite pretty. There we go. Alrighty, that was my first one. Are you gonna go? Yeah. Okay, come on. I finished my What the Fade. You sound depressed about it. Because <coughs> I have to take it off. That's why. And it's not gonna fit in the shot. Because it's huge. <laughs> Excuse me, Mom. <laughs> Never mind me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm trying to find an end. There we go. See, there you go. That's my fade. That's the good side. The bad side looks really awesome, too. And don't look at my tassel. My tassels are a little wonky, but there's supposed to be three tassels. There's supposed to be one at the bottom as well. Um, but because of where it lands up on me, it lands right where the... She's vertically challenged, let's just say. It lands right in between the legs, so there's no tassels there. I told Phil, I was like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not going to put a tassel there because it's going to be right, right near the muffin. <laughs> and he goes, oh, so you're just going to have it right by your boobs. I was like, well, they're little, like, showgirl tassels. <laughs> so, yes, that's what happened with that. But, um, and this is, um, not the full length. <coughs> I skipped about four to eight rows every single fade during the garter section. If you didn't, it would have been to your toes. Yeah. If I stand up and it's by my chest, it goes all the way down to my shins and I'm 5'2". So. Which I was laughing at you when you texted me the other day that it went to your shins because you actually put chins or something. I mean, <laughs> I was like, oh, shins. Shins. I'm like, oh, the text messages I get from her. If it's not text, it's phone calls. It's phone calls. Yeah. All right. Moving on. So I was doing a test knit for Hypnotic Yarns on her new hat pattern called Terra Diddle. Uh, that might be the best picture I have of it right there and I did get it finished I was used I don't know did I show the beginning of this list no I have seen this up afterwards so I am using yarn ink spectra and I have all of this left this hat does not take a whole lot mm -mm. come here my little dummy ta-da Yeah, I guess you can kind of see the holes on there. So I was like, um, you really just can't see them very well, can you? Like you can in person. Mm -hmm. Well, at any rate. It's a holy hat. It's a holy hat, yes. <laughs> Which I think I should have added yes. one, one more repeat to make it a little taller. But when I tried it on, it does actually come to the bottom of my ears. You're looking crazy at me. You, that looks like so short. You try it. That looks like the size of... What? I took my ponytail out the one night and tried it on. Mm-mm. It's to that. It's to your lobe. Yeah, I probably should have done one more repeat. One more repeat. And I did Because, like, a... if I don't pull on it... <laughs> if it I hasn't been it, blacked, though, if we blacked it. It's, like, right at the top of my ear. We should probably black it. And that would open up the holes then, too, and then make it a little... 
Yeah, because when you knit something that's holy and lacy, it shrinks up. Yeah. Yeah, we should black, add that to your blocking pile. It's not going to block. Okay, I'll give it to Wendy to block. She'll block it. Have Wendy block it because... Wendy, my hat needs help. Yeah, I think... Because um, it, it has a lot of um, stretch to it. Your head must be bigger than mine because when I tried it on, it went um, all the way to my, my earlobe. So, at any rate, yeah, that's my terror diddle. So, as usual, I... I went up, um, she said to use a 2.25 millimeter, I, I went up to a 3 millimeter. So there was no way in a 2.25 I would have, it would have been, um, toddler size again, for sure. Yeah. So. Alright, you're up again. Oh, I fibbed. I have four finished objects. <clears throat> I was over cheating. Oh, you finished that. I haven't weaved in my ends. Oh, that's okay. That's beautiful. I don't remember <laughs> what pattern it is. Um, I forgot you even had that. <laughs> I worked on it a little, and then I was like, mm, I'm, I'm going to finish the, what, the fade. So then I put it to the side for a little bit, and I maybe have like a 20 grams left of yarn at most. So many. Of a mini. Um, this is in Butterbeer <laughs> by Clark and L. I don't remember the pattern. Um, I don't know. I picked it there's up. There's supposed to that. be a Pico bind off, and mm -hmm. I said to the Pico bind off, I did not want to do that after this long I cord bind off that took me four well, plus, hours. Plus, with blacking, then you have to. It's yeah. more of a pain of a butt in the butt, if you ask me. So. It came out really pretty. And it's, you blacked it already? Yep. I, I was going to say, because it's really opened up. It'll be a nice one. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. good, a good fall color. Yeah, definitely. I, I like all the uh, openness of it. Mm -hmm. It's very airy. Yeah, it's very light. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, a good one when it's like hot days. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hopefully my next one is a little, a little bit more successful as far as it fit in your head. <laughs> My next one is the Liana hat by Hypnotic Yarns. And this is the one that's being given. Donated for a prize. I used, Alicia picked out my brand new yarn that after that podcast. You told me I could. Yeah, I did. Um, it's Happy Little Yarn. Fairy in Training. DK Weight. I ha still have a, a good chunk of it left. Oh, it's such a pretty color. <laughs> excuse me. You're not excused. No, okay. Crab butt. You're crappy. Well, that's because nobody likes my brand new leggings I have on. In case you guys care, I have brand new leggings on and nobody liked them. I didn't say I don't like them. You, you, you said they're, you're not, they're not my favorite. <laughs> I, w I would not wear them. They have roses on them, though. I love roses, guys. <laughs> so this is the only hat. We get a little sidetracked it. And it also has some um, some openness to it. It's a really pretty design, and it's a really fun knit. Do you want to try that one? This one is actually for her, so hopefully it fits. Oh, yeah. Much better. Much better. That one's really cute. It's even cuter on. Yeah, I did a good job. Good job, Mom. It's a fun pattern. I really, really enjoy really it. I did, yarn. um, one, two, I added one repeat into this because mm -hmm. I was worried about it fitting you. So I just did not like, not like the whole repeat here, but I did, um, the little repeat I did here to kind of add to it just to, because we know the first one, one I made for Alicia was toddler size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I ended up, and this one, it calls for, for the main part, a 3.5. I used a 3.5 for the ribbing, and I moved to a 4.5 for the main hat. Gotcha. So... Basically, I've learned that me and hat knitting, I cannot use 
the needle that's recommended. I have to go up half to a whole size, depending. And I knit that on my Knit Pro Zings. How are those Knit Pro when they say Knitter's Pride? Well, Knitter's Pride makes Zings and Melodies. You didn't know that? Well, then it's not Knit Pro, it's Knitter's Pride. Oh, I'm sorry. Knitter's Pride. That's what zings. I'm saying. Sorry. It's not Knit Pro. Knit, it's knit Pro Zings are the, um, is it the Canadian version or the overseas. Yeah, because there's two versions of that. UK. Mm -hmm. It's a UK version. <clears throat> okay, at any rate, so that hat's yours. Thank do you. you. Do you have another finished object? No, that's it. Alright, I got one more. I finished both of these shawls yesterday. I was going to town this week. I finished <laughs> a six game project, so. Yeah, mine were all smaller ones, but that's okay. So, I showed you my fast bait hat. I just, tonight, <laughs> finished my fast bait cowl. What? That's nice. Isn't it cute? And even though it's different, what do I do with that hat? Yeah. You can tell it's still a set. Yeah. So, if you cut some holes in it. It could be a dog sweater. You know what? When I was knitting it, I was like, because Moo was on my lap, so it was draped over the back of her as I was knitting, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> of course, Moo's like, would have to be like this, because <laughs> she's so tiny. But it's funny that you said that, because I was like, oh, yeah. So I think it came out really, really nice. And this was another um, Molly Klein Designs um, pattern. So next up for me, because, you know, you got to have a complete set. I've got the hat. I've got the cowl. She also has a um, fast fade mittens pattern, which are really, really fun. I didn't bring the picture in here, but she has them um, completely different. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're not just like matchy. So I'm still working out of what was left over of my minis from my advent calendar. And I'm pretty sure I have enough for mittens still. <laughs> Is that not insane? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Some of them um, have kind of gotten a little knotted together, which, you know what? I got gals at Knit Night that love to unknot stuff, so they will be happy campers. So, yeah, once I finish the shawl I'm working on, I'm going to do the mittens. And then she also has a... Um... Socks. Socks. Which I don't have that pattern yet, but it might need to be done to go with the set. I mean... I mean, why would you? If I have enough yarn, exactly. I mean, I might be... But this, these um, leftovers of the advent calendar are really going a long way. When you figure, I did that big, huge advent, adventurous um, shawl that you have. I've done a cowl now. I've done a hat now. So, I mean, these were wonderful patterns for using up stuff like that. And who doesn't have scraps? I have tons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should make something like this. So, and they were fa fairly quick. Um, I followed the patterns on both of them, other than um, the ribbing. I like a twisted rib, so I did twisted rib on, on all of it. So, yeah, so that was my other project I finished. Yay me. You have F, uh, blah, 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 whips. Mm. Eh? Mm. How many do you have? Because I really, mine take like two, one <laughs> minute to talk about two. <laughs> Which will take like no time at all to talk about either. Okay. So. <laughs> oh, I um, forgot to mention this was my bag from um, Bumpy, Bumpy Crafts. Crafts. Um, I'll just do a quick update of how far I've gotten on Pete's hat. Oh, you got it on your in your popcorn bag. Not that far, but... Did you take it to the movies? We haven't been to the movies. Oh. Phil doesn't want to see anything that's out, so. Me and your dad went. So yeah, that's about how far I've gotten. That last week, the week before. Yeah, he's like, there's nothing really out. I said, okay. We went and saw Fifty Shades Freed. Phil said no. Oh, uh, it was really good. It was, um, I, 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 I it was will, better than the other ones. I knew it was going to be better than the other ones, but 
Phil went and watched the first one. <laughs> Your dad has seen all of them with me. Phil did not watch the second one because <laughs> after the first one, he says, you know, that's like women are supposed to, you know, be so erotic and, you know, sexual from it and turned on and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, that's just way too much work. Oh my gosh. He's like, that guy spent like 30 minutes tying knots. Leave it to your husband because he wants to be playing a game or eating. <laughs> Heaven forbid if you would, would have to take 30 minutes on anything that didn't involve food or games. Okay. Oh, wow. So, That's hilarious. That doesn't surprise me. Whatever. I mean, so I, I'll watch him. He okay. doesn't have to. So... Well, I was waiting for Alicia because, you know, I thought she'd be late because usually she always is. And, of course, she wasn't. She was extremely early. <laughs> it was five minutes early. Okay. But she's usually at least 15 to 20, 25 minutes late. So her being five minutes early was extremely early. I wasn't changed. I wasn't nothing. <laughs> I was sitting, well, no, I was out back. I Previous to that, I had well, been sitting. Well, I started getting ready at 5 o'clock. I was like, I need to unpin my shawl, and I need to pack my bag, and I need to straighten my hair. Well, I go to straighten my hair, and I was like, oh, you know, this is going to take me like 15, 20 minutes to straighten my hair. You don't have that much hair to straighten. It took me five minutes. I was going to say, because... I even parted it. With my Like, new... I didn't just go... Like, with, I actually parted it and did it correctly. With my new flat iron that I just bought, I don't, I don't know if I told you I no, bought you a didn't. new one. Oh my gosh, this thing, guys, it is wonderful. I want the brush. Like, you set up, you know how, like, yours, I think it just has dials or whatever. I just have the dial. This has a digital readout, and this thing goes all the way up to, I think it's 475 degrees. I cranked that thing all the way up. Um. <laughs> and I'm through my hair in 10 minutes, and I have extremely thick hair. It's and because it's, you're ruining your hair. And it's a, a little yeah, Linda. <laughs> it's a little thin her hair. one too. Because you left me that big nasty thick one. I did. And it pulled my hair <laughs> out. It left her the thick one that she was like moves four out inches. And took the good hair straight <laughs> hair. I took the inch I'm one. Like, seriously. So while I thought I was waiting for her, I had gotten um, a little thing, three way dishcloths, and I started um, just a simple waffle stitch one and I didn't make it very far I mean like I said I just I think I worked on it for like three four minutes I mean <laughs> let's be honest I mean it's a dishcloth not, not a whole lot to say about it you know <laughs> wonderful and, and don't don't worry Alicia this one's not coming to you okay <laughs> she's like I have enough enough dishcloths I, I made her because I was like I'm gonna st I'm gonna knit some dishcloths and I was like no no I'm not not doing it. I made you a bunch of um, scrubbies for Christmas, which I will never do that again with that Red Heart scrubby. <laughs> I crocheted them for her, like little circles. That was the hardest thing to crochet with ever. Like, you couldn't see anything. It's hard to knit with, too. Yeah, so I did not enjoy that. So, yeah, I just, I just started this. Um, I got two of these, and then I got two that are, like, Red, white, and blue multicolored. Take a mm -hmm. while guess who they're going to end up going gonna go to. Gonna go to Aunt Mary, mm -hmm. Grandma Mary. Yeah. So, sorry, we got two great Aunt Mary and something. So that was that, and then <clears throat> I didn't get a whole lot done on it. I mean, I got some work done on my shawl. <laughs> yeah, enough that I'll show you. You know, you're skipping over me again. Oh, I thought you were done. No, I told oh. you I have two. Go right ahead, my dear. You did this last week. What crackers do I like? <laughs> you know what I like. Okay, guys, this is hilarious. I'm at work this morning, and I am elbow deep in the plant tank because I was taking all the plants out. And in my it. defense, Phil told me to go to Target. And my phone starts ringing, and it's Alicia, and she typically doesn't call me, especially when she knows I'm at work. <laughs> So I dry off my hands, I answer a phone, I'm like, you know, hello. She's like, hi, Mom, I'm at Target. What flavor crackers do I like? And I was like, should I get the veggie or the garlic? <laughs> <laughs> get the garlic and herb. I was well, like, are you sure I went like the spinach and, and garlic? I was like, those are made out of potatoes, but these other crackers are yeah. made out of chickpeas. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, which ones am I going to like? Get the garlic and herb. And I'm like, I got to go. I'm, I'm cleaning the plant tank. And she's like, Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> like, she wasn't going to see me tonight. So then I texted her dad. I'm like, your daughter is cracking me up. <laughs> like, she called me just to ask me what flavor crackers she likes. 
<laughs> He's like, wow. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't Anyhow. have any social interactment with anyone, so. <laughs> yeah, so she calls mom about it. Pretty All right. Much. At any rate, your turn. Don't want to skip you. You did last time. Oh, stop. It was so mean. <laughs> okay, so I cast it oh, on yeah. today. And this this is the um, pattern that Tristan has donated for the Hattathon. Of course, I didn't print the first page, which, is, which it has a giant photo of the hat. But there's Tristan wearing her cat. Her cat hat. Her cat hat. Her cat hat. So it is really, really simple. And I'm using leftovers from my What the Fade, which hopefully I have enough. Because you're supposed to have 50 grams of the main color and 40 grams of the other one. And I have 60 and 50. But I really wanted the dark one to be my main color, not the purple. You'll probably be fine. So that is fine. Um, this one is Candy Coated Yarn Crafty Mama Mermaid Hair. Mermaid something. I think it's mermaid hair. And then this one is um, Black Hat Fibers um, after the parade. So, casted this on today, and I got the ribbing done, and I just now am starting the brioche. That's pretty good if you got the ribbing done. That's my, like, my least favorite part of it. <laughs> I hate the darn ribbing. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a one-by-one one twisted rib. Oh, good. And the twisted rib was what was in the pattern? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that was nice. That was nice. I'm not sure... I messed up like only like a quarter of my ribbing so the brioche isn't looking oh. correct right there so I'm not sure I feel like my brioche is correct but I'm don't ask me I feel like it's correct and it just I just need to knit it further because I'm only like three rows into the brioche but yeah I love this so far I am a little bit concerned because she said on the podcast that you should tr probably try to do it with a sturdier yarn. Oh, yeah. She did say that. And this this isn't the sturdiest. So, oh. I might have a sad cat hat. <laughs> <laughs> and those were all my, my Lucka interchangeable sets. Which I love. Which Pete's hat is on. Because I have two... Are you magic looping that? I'm just knitting in the round. What size cord do you have on it then? The oh, you have the 16 inch because your tips are so small. Well, gotcha. plus there was uh, 12 inch ones too. Oh, there was 12 inch uh, Yeah, cords? I believe there was two 12 inch cords. Oh, that's nice. Because <laughs> my set of, because they're 16 inch cords, but by the time you get the tips on, they're not usable for knitting in the round. Not for a hack. I didn't keep it. No. Yeah. I told you to keep it. No, you told me to keep her name. No, I gave you the... I had ripped the thing off, too, with the different um, sizes on it. Yeah, at any rate. This is what you gave me. No, there was another card like no, this that had... there's a, no other card. Uh, maybe it got transferred to the garbage. I don't know. At any rate, my turn. <clears throat> this is the Gray Skies shawl, which, yes, I was contacted by a couple people, and I am so sorry. When I got this pattern, it was a free pattern. I was going to tell you that it wasn't a free pattern. It is no longer I a free pattern. I didn't think it was, She because she had it free on a Suicide Awareness Day. Ooh, speaking of free, guys, Dragon Horde Yarn. Tristan, if you did not get the Changing Staircase shawl last time when she put it up for free, it is now, it is now free, free until um, March. March. So you got so you like some... you got two weeks. Yeah. So so I do apologize about that. I guess when I when I I need to start um, checking. You need to actually start doing some work for the podcast. <laughs> I'm knitting. <laughs> That's good enough. Um, I, I'm organizing uh, prizes. I mean, Ooh, those are you, those wrote, are you wrote that down. Th those are important <laughs> things. 
She wrote it down. That's Keep, organizing. I'm keeping track of it all. Would you stop? What'd you do? <laughs> yeah. I block your stuff. <laughs> Except that hat. <laughs> she refused to block my hat, though. So this is the gray sky shawl. Still so pretty. It really is. And I made it a little further. Like I said, I got um, distracted with test knits and cowls and everything else. But now this is going to be like the only thing that um, I will mainly be knitting on. Because I need to get it done. It looks like something <laughs> else that I've knitted. I don't know what. I think it's really pretty. It is. So this right here is our colorway from Arkansas Yarn Co. The Knit for Brains. And then this gray, light uh, gray silver is her Old Man Winter. And I think it is coming out gorgeous. I think it's coming out really nice, especially with the colors. Yeah, I do too. They re It really goes well. And both are on her sparkle, I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can, guys can see that. So, and it's really different. Oh, and I got, <laughs> I don't know if I showed you guys this last time. Yes, you did. Oh, I did. My little, well, I'm going to show it again just because I can. It's my podcast. <laughs> Our podcast. Yeah. It's my F-bomb from I'm, Ann Tudor. I'm just here for you not to talk to yourself for an hour and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you do a good job. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And I'm just there to answer what flavor crackers you like. Garlic. <laughs> garlic. I mean, can you? I would, I'm pretty sure it's better. Personally, I would have gotten the uh, spinach and garlic. garlic. I got garlic and herb, and it tastes more herby than garlicky. So we're talking about those uh, good thins. Yeah. I think they're called. Good I have thins. a package too, because Kroger's was, um, they're just continuing a, a few of the flavors, so they were discounted pretty deep. They're doing away, they're redoing the whole um, store. So up at the front, there's like aisles of all sorts of clearance stuff. So, you know, mommy had And Myers opens in a couple months. So, May, it's like right before my birthday. I know. So, all right. So that's all the whips I have. Um, let's do a couple shop things really quick. And then we will do acquisitions. So, just want to let you guys know, right as of right now, everything in the shop is free shipping. Ships on us. To the U.S. only. To the U.S. only. Not, thank you, my dear. Not internationally. So, all of my tote bags, thank you guys, have sold, with the exception of two of the really cute pink owl ones. So, just wanted to... Nobody wanted the owls? Uh, one of them sold. That was the blemish one, because it was cheaper. Yeah. Come on, guys. Who... Who wants me? <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised. Well, and I was kind of sad when the lady ordered that. Um, I knew you were going. I go into the shop and it's gone. And I'm like, I got oh. the order and I'm like, oh. And Brett was like, what's wrong? You sold something in the shop. I'm like, yeah, it was the one I was hoping I didn't sell. <laughs> Oh, well. But I don't need another bag, guys. Exactly. I don't. So um, one of the items <sighs> that sold out was, if you recall, my sweater size sheep ball bag. That sold out. It sold out on the very first, as soon as the podcast went up. That's awesome. There, so I, I made one more. This is in the shop. So if you were wanting the sweater size sheets, <laughs> there is one available again. And just a reminder, this had that really pretty gold on the inside that matched the gold sheep. That's really cute. I, I know. This is another one. I, I'm like, mm. then I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm pretty you good about not. I'm, I'm really good about not keeping bags that I make. Um, I just keep reminding myself that I have enough. Now I am going to keep one of these. Um, mine is going to have blue on the back and pink on the inside, though. I feel like you should have pink. <laughs> Style. And I do have one other item that I'm going to be keeping, which I will show you in just a second. Also by request. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Mm. So the I Craft So Hard I Sweat Glitter bags that I have, the medium size, I am down to only one left in the shop. So if there is an interest in those, you might want to get on it. But I did have a request for matching ball bags for that bag. That is really cute. So, and it is the identical fabrics to the bag, and there will be 
three listed in the shop for you guys. Each one will be a tad different. Of placement. As far as placements. Um, this one's down a little lower, but then it has it on the sides. These are more dead center. Um, I did try to fussy cut as much as I could. Without um, wasting too Without much. being too wasteful. That's, that's kind of the thing. <clears throat> Alright, the last item I'm going to show you is brand new to the shop. Oh, crud. Okay, I'm just going to... You knocked the camera. Oh, sorry guys. Um, I can just... Sickness. I'm going to use this one to show since I have something in that one. And that is my Peeps drawstring bag. Is that not the cutest it's really cute. ever? So the inside fabric is the green with the polka dots. And what's really cute, and hopefully the camera will pick it up. It's not going to pick that up. We'll see. In with the white polka dots, oh. yes, there's little yellow polka dots. So it's really very coordinated. And this, of course, oops, comes with my needle keeper, which has the same fabric on the inside. And then it's also going to come with A little progress keeper that matches. It has green, two green uh, beads, and then a blue. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. So this is being added into the shop tonight after we record. Um, wanted to show you though, can you hold that? So these are going to be in um, my shop, Knit for Brains Designs, and then if you guys are interested in matching yarn to go with it, I've got you hooked up. Lori from Arkansas Yarn Co. is going to have um, this set in her shop. It will actually be there by the time you see this. Well, it's actually there now. And it's called Oh for Peep's Sake. And look how cute that looks together. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest? Mm -hmm. This is on her non sparkle. She will have some of those available. And then she also will have it on sparkle as well. So. After having said that I don't normally keep bags for myself. You're keeping that one. I am keep, keeping one of these. <laughs> you know I have a thing about about that. I, I, I hate, like, you couldn't pay me enough to eat a peep. You're disgusting. Um, but I think the cutest could be. <laughs> so, yes, those will be in the shop. And, again... Free shipping. Free shipping on, on everything and anything in the shop right now. Only to the USA. To the USA. Thank you. All right. Do you have any acquisitions? I bought one thing that I didn't mean to. Like, I really didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just so. going to happen. Okay. Well, are you going to show us? No, because you probably got, like, 20. Well, I figured you could just get your one out of the way. Get my one over with. <laughs> so, I went on Amazon oh, and yeah. bought my husband a <laughs> Valentine's Day shirt. Well, a mm -hmm. shirt for Valentine's Day. Two of them. Turns out that I bought two of them. And I meant to do the two-day shipping on it so that it would show up in time. I had this in my cart from a long time before. And I accidentally did two day shipping on this. So this book cost me like $35. Oh, I hope you like it. God, I hope I like it. There's <clears throat> there's a couple that I will... Oh, it sounds like it'd be something you yeah, like. 27 all... Spellbinding Projects yeah. Knitting Wizardry. Yeah, it's all of the Knitting Wizardry ones. Um, oh, you should like that. Yes, there's some... There's, okay. there's some mitts. These are small. Oh, there's like tons those. of mitts. Um, but this is the one that I'm looking at that I'm going to do. Ooh, wait. I like the back of that sweater. It's the owl sweater. Which, ugh, it's the owl cardigan. That's cute. It has the owls going down the back. Um, that's the shawl. There's some socks. Um, but there, this is the one that I want to do. Which is the shimmering cloak. I could see you wearing that. And I also want to do the cloak on the front of the book, too. Those are two different cloaks. Oh, so um, there's patterns in there you're going to knit. But one is made with mohair, <laughs> and one is made with llama. At llama, you couldn't do. So I'm going to have to find something that is... You can do the um, 
just do the research on it and use you can use something other, something, something similar yeah. i know it's the same way it's just the drapiness of it and the halo effect is what they went for well with halo i mean you can do a single yeah that's what i'm thinking i i would think because then I'm you'd thinking. have the halo and singles is pretty drapey oh but they have oh my god i know There's oh, that, that that was ugly. Come on now, beautiful. I'm sure somebody likes. I'm sure it. So, I like the colors that they use. Yeah, it I don't just, think that I'd be my cup of tea. I don't think I'd be able to I'm pull really not it the off. Vest person, neither. Me, you know, you guys okay. know me. I'm a t-shirt girl. The vest, they're just gonna make my boobies look bigger, <laughs> and they're already big, so I really don't. Oh, this is the shrug. It's a wrapper. That was what I was looking at when you were. That so is pretty. It's a actually has like sleeves. Huh. Here. It'd be cute with like a little dress. Not that I'm gonna wear a dress, but it'd be cute with a dress. So yeah, there's a few in here. So. You'll just have to make it since you since you what's what's this? Because I see cables. It's a sweater. Ooh. Ugh. What the it's a chameleon sweater. Okay, I like the back of it. I don't like the front of it. Well, that looks like it's over it. I don't know. Like it's a second shirt. It's really strange. A close-fitting tunic and a bulky weight yarn is covered in wide, soft tables. A coordinating lace weight over sweater can be added. Or oh, removed. yeah, we won't want to add that. Show, show them what it looks like. We're, like, just talking amongst ourselves. That's the back where it drew my attention. Ooh, that's pretty. But yeah. then I saw the front, of, the front picture. Can you show them the front picture? That's with the overcoat. With the overcoat. And I was like, hmm. Why would they take a picture of it with an overcoat? Now that's just weird. I don't care for that. No. But, yeah. there's So there's tons of... Oh, those are pretty. Petal socks. Yeah. So if you don't get the two-day shipping, <laughs> I mean, it'd totally be worth it. Well... Now that you have it, you just and you spent that much money on it, you just need to make. Um, what about that? Oh, I like that. It's just a cardigan. It's called the lacy cloak, but it's a cardigan. I like that. And it's all in dark and black, so I went. I couldn't do it then. No. So it's goodness. hard to see, but it's all lacy. Oh, that is beautiful. You know, I'm all about cardigans. But it's all lace work, mm. and it's all charts. Yeah, see, I'm not big on charts. I like written instructions. I, I can do a chart. I've never done a chart, so that's the only thing that scares me. Yeah, but, I can do a chart, but I'm not a fan of. I, I would rather have written instructions. Me too. So it's a, it'll it'll be fine. Oh, um, you can always just take a chart and write out the instructions yourself as well. So yeah. to make it a little easier, where you don't have to, you know. I'll just teach myself. Be following. All right, so I guess it's my turn. I might as well start with this little one because it's sitting out because I almost forgot about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been having problems with um. The dryness. The dryness. And my fingers are splitting open. And I found that, you know, certain regular lotions you buy at the store, you can't use, you can't put it on and then knit. Because the dyes from the yarn ends up on your fingers. <laughs> See, I don't so, have that problem, but I use all natural stuff. Plus, um, regular lotion was not working. That working hands would work okay, but... The way it's in that canister to go in like this, I was getting it underneath my nails, and I hate that. So I ordered a bar. <laughs> it is from Share My Passion on Etsy. Um, it's 100% natural. It's just beeswax, coconut oil, and cocoa butter. And she said that when you put it on, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Let me show you her card. And I was freaked out at first because when it came in, it was kind of cold. And I opened it and I went to turn the thing and it cracked. And no, this it wouldn't turn at uh, all. Well, your dad came in and I said something to him. I'm like, can you see if you can turn that? Because I can't get it to turn. Well, he uh, popped it into the microwave for a few seconds and then maybe some chocolate. Yeah. Um, and now it works, it turns, so, yeah, I'm excited, I'm gonna use that. Okay. Then, I'm not doing these in any particular order, 
A lot of you, I'm sure, have heard of Nanette Wake Studio. She does the um, hand-woven scarves, bags, guitar straps, camera straps, that sort of thing. She had a sale. And you didn't tell me. And you know me in a sale. And I just got a small one. Because I wanted one of hers. Because I didn't know this. I if, wanted one if of I hers. Were, okay, well, next time she has a sale, she runs them quite often. I just went with the smaller one because I have been getting, you know, I like, like that. Um, some of the smaller size. So this is it. It's hand woven. And of course, I liked it because there was the blue inside and there is a pocket. There's a zipper pull that she's made. And then also attached are some stitch markers and a progress keeper. And then this is mm -hmm. um, it's like a, a suede. real suede, uh, suede fabric there. And like I said, I went with the smaller one, um, just because you guys know I make bags, so I do have I, I do have problems paying too much for a bag. And I'm not saying that it's too much mm -mm. because she is hand weaving it. She's hand weaving it, and it's um, beautiful. But you don't know that <clears throat> until you get it. And that's true. Um, plus, there's a limit as to how much I will. I will spend um because I do have so many bags <laughs> and I make them all the time from you know so but I did want one and I find a lot of times now like my dishcloth set will probably actually go in this it'll be a perfect size because I didn't even have any it's a great size you know um yes it's a small but it really is good size I enjoy how big the like her is. smalls I think are a decent size. It's a very um, large box bottom. I like that. So yeah, I am quite happy with it. I'm going to show you one more time. So that was one of the items I just got in. And you know how I am about a zipper pull. That, that's a must. Mm -hmm. If I look at a bag and there's nothing whatsoever on the zipper, I'm, I'm not into it. I'm just not. All right. Um, <clears throat> I see you staring at it, so I might as well give it to you. I'm not staring. Um, Arkansas Yarn Co. sent Alicia and I one of the Knit for Brains hat kits. This is Team Alicia with Alicia's palm. And the, ooh, this is Laura. Laura's palm. How pretty. And this is a version of um, the Knit for Brains that I'm knitting up in that um, that shawl I showed you. Mm -hmm. um, this is in the, that one was sock weight. This is in a DK weight. And I do believe I am going to do a Liana hat in it. Just in case you hear. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what That's I want to do. So thick, I was gonna say. You have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so pretty. They are still available in her shop in either Team Alicia or Team Laura. So, blue pop. I pom -pom. heard she stopped making Team Laura because they just weren't selling. <laughs> oh, you heard wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> so, yeah, I was very excited about this. I can't wait to uh, make it. That's so pretty. We need, we need to make them and we can wear them to events. I hate when you say that. <laughs> Let's make oh. this so then we can Well, last time I wanted, what was it I wanted to make? Oh, I wanted to do my sock kit. And you're like, no, let's knit them at the same time. And now my sock kit's still sitting there. Well, don't do your sock kit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's that. Let's see what, else, what, let's see what other goodies I have. Oh, I got a book too. Of course, I got my book at, at uh, Saber, so <laughs> it wasn't $35. Okay, it would have been like $15. Yeah, mine still wasn't $15. Okay. Okay, now, I did get it at Saber's, and this particular day, there wasn't any discount on the books. So it was a little bit higher Oof. than I usually pay at Goodwill. I only pay $0.99 cents for the books. This one, I think I paid $3 for, which, oh. <laughs> but... <laughs> I know, right? Pushing it. It really was. I had to I had to stand for a second and think about it. So I found Sack Yarn One Skein Wonders. There's 101 patterns. So there's all sorts of Have mitts you found anything? and socks and um 
you know, I, I initially looked kind of just like I did now through it and was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cute. Oh, okay, that's cute. Um, so I knew that there were some patterns in there that I would do, and I was laughing because there was bridal socks in there. Of course there was. Like, yeah, we could have used those before. Um, like these I thought were really cute. Those are really, really cute. That was one of the ones that I went, oh, yes, I would knit those. I would knit those. Those are really cute. Um... These were really cute on the next mm -hmm. page. Uh, they had a cable. So there was quite a few things in there. I need to actually sit and go through it uh, more so. I just kind of, like I said, I thumbed through it, saw, yeah, there's stuff in there that I would make. And I want to say that there was um, a shawl of some sort or something I saw in there as well. There's even in the back, I was going to tell you, because there's different um, categories. So there's even a dog sweater. A valance no for your window which I would never do a teapot cozy I wouldn't do coasters there was um there's ornaments as well like heirloom holiday ornaments so there's like there's a section for everything there's like a kids section there's an adult section there's a home section not really sure why you'd want to do an umbrella lampshade but hey it's in there oh it's a hot what I thought it was a hot water bottle no what is that Oh, it's that for, um, for your laptop. For netbooks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's all different sort of um, things in here. There's necklaces, sun, a sunglass sock. That don't look like a sunglass sock. No, it doesn't. Okay, guys. <laughs> That's a sunglass sock. In case you ever wondered what one looked like. Doesn't look like one to us, but hey, whatever. Um, oh, and there was like different bags in here, too. Um, of course, it was like a market bag, mm -hmm. a vintage purse. Um, there's just pretty much there's everything in this in this book. So there was doll stuff. Um, there was uh, I think there was a couple sweaters. Look at the little tights for kids. That's adorable. Look how cute that is. Little tights. So yeah, I mean, I think it was well worth the three dollars. I mean. I don't know. I'm kind of cheap. I don't know that I would buy a book full price just because I find a lot of times I don't knit enough out of a, out of books to actually spend that money. I thought this was just so delicate looking. Um, looks like a headache. Oh, it does look like a headache. I agree with that, but it was very pretty. Um, yeah, a lot of the... Um, Patterns I noticed had a lot of lace work. But yeah, so there's all sorts of things in here. That, yeah. Neck warmer shawls. What the heck is that work? Oh, shimmy and shrug? Mm hmm. And then there's a the socks section. Yeah, so I think it'll be a fun book. Um, I would say probably between the two of us, one of us or both of us will end up knitting something out of it. Yeah. If nothing else, um, a couple of the uh, fingerless mitts were really yeah. cute. And those always make great gifts. So, yeah, good find for $3. Okie doke. <clears throat> Moving onward. Okay. So, I ordered again. I really need to take this stuff out of there. Well, I did, but I was trying to... It's you don't open. do anything for this podcast. <laughs> oh, are we going to go there again? <laughs> so I ordered from Haley at Hales Be Handmade. Let me show you her card. Yes, she is on Etsy. I don't know if the Etsy was on there. I think it was, but there you guys go. So I ordered some more DK. This one is called Glacier. It's really mm -hmm. like it is super super soft okay now this next one is truly truly my favorite you got two of them don't judge me why did you get two of them don't judge me i have a plan <laughs> <laughs> this is brewing wolf span mm-hmm well, I think it's Bane. Bane? Okay. We'll stay. And DK. 
and look how pretty that is. Yeah, this one, oh, I'm in it, yeah, I'm in love with, there's even pops of purple in there with the blue, oh, well, that purple's showing up though. Love it. Well, I'm going to have a few more from her on the way as well, so <clears throat> at one point or another that will actually go with these for a project. And I got some teas in here. Chocolate hazelnut, black forest, cinnamon apple. I know you want that one. Choc chocolate mint oolong. Oh, I like oolong tea. You don't see oolong very often. It's a nice cute little card. You don't have to read it right now. I'm not gonna read it. I was just gonna show. <laughs> it's Snoopy. <laughs> you have a habit of reading cards. No. And then not saying anything. Just I read it. <laughs> no, I just wanted to show the Snoopy. <laughs> That's okay. They don't mind. Do you guys mind? Yeah, they do. No, they don't. It's a great time to go out. Go like get up from the couch and. I mean, they might need a tinkle break. <laughs> they might. Need <laughs> All right. So I have one more thing. Ugh. So I didn't do too bad this time. I kind of behaved. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What is this? It's a box. But it's got unicorns on it. And it's really intriguing. Oh, you like that? Mm -hmm. did, and did you read their stuff wrote on it? <laughs> hey, I'm pretty but fragile. Treat me gently. <laughs> Treat yourself. Charm hooks and crafts. So good, so sweet. <laughs> so this is from Charmed Hooks and Crafts. This is her February box. There's a cute little um, button in here. Uh, I'm not your average maker. And then a nice little thank you. And then there's care instructions for one of the items that's in the box. Now this is the first time that I have ordered a box from her. And yes, you can yell at me about the crinkle crinkle, but I was trying to keep everything intact. So there's a featured artist each month and it was Arkansas Yarn Co. Now I know why you bought it. So no, <laughs> you get um, two. No, I bought it because I saw last month's and I went, oh. you should have gotten it. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So, um, you get two minis. If you want to pop that one, you can't really no. see it very well. Oh, okay. And the name on this one is... I can pop it open. Here we go. Charming. Something heart. Like a Station heart. Pale green. And then... Something heart. That's Sweet stuff. station heart. Maybe. What is that, Lori? Conversation heart. Ooh. Her O looks like a snowman. Yeah, the it, yeah, that is the goal. <laughs> they were in these cute little um cupcake wrappers. So that came with it. <laughs> And then there's this little bag. When you open it, oh, that's cute. Is a custom crochet hook. Now, she does these every month. And if you're, I forget how it works. There's like a almost. I mean, obviously it's all pre-order. But if you get in right away, you get to pick what brand hook you want mm -hmm. and what size. Because I had gotten it right away, and I said, you know what, just send me something that's appropriate for um, a sock, uh, a scrappy blanket. I don't really care what brand. I mean, it doesn't really no. make a difference to me. Um, also, you remember, I think it's like when she first lists it, you get free shipping as well. Gotcha. But then after that, you have, you know, if you, oh, excuse me, you have to pay the shipping. So, it's a little cupcake, and it's all glittered and... 
That's really cute. Isn't that cute? And it came in its own little bag. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> um, inside is a pink polka dot. And that's what the care instructions were for, was for the polymer um, crochet hook. Then there was also, I don't remember what was in here. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> These are so cute. Those are really cute. <laughs> Look at the progress keepers, guys. There's, uh, let's see. So much detail. Look at there's even the cream in there. The chocolate covered strawberry. I mean, they are adorable. That is very, very cute. Isn't that cute? And see, I had seen like the package from a month before and went, wow, you get a lot in that box. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't all. It also included a project bag. That's awesome. With the pink inside. So all of this came in her February box. Isn't that cute? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm really <laughs> loving these. I open that package and I'm like, oh my gosh, those are adorable. <laughs> well, and this one, you know, like I got hungry and took a bite out of it to see what flavor was inside because that scares me, a sort of chocolate. You know that. Mm -hmm. I need the thing on the back because there's... If I bite into it and it's coconut, it's going to spit right out. So that was um, really fun. That's adorable. Yeah, I was really happy with this. <clears throat> and like I said, I had seen, um, the main reason I had gotten it was because I had seen the month before. And was like, oh, that's really neat, you know. So... So that was from Charmed Hooks. I'm going to say it wrong. Charmed Hooks and Crafts. Yeah. Maria. So, loved it. And these are <laughs> these are definitely going to get used just because they're so stinking mm -hmm. cute. And I like that um, they're on like the earring back versus yeah. the lobster claw. Because I tend to actually use these more. Because I find the lobster claws, well, some of them are okay. But yeah. some of them can be kind of tricky when you have nails to yeah. to open up. Whereas these, you just pop them open. And I will also sometimes just use, use these as a stitch marker, too. I asked Phil to hand me a stitch marker. I said, there's these little, I was like, they look like little charms. I was like, hand me one of those little charms on the side table. He reaches over and he hands me a progress keeper. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to break his heart and go, So you hey, just used it? I just used it. Well, and it worked. So I was going to say, fun. I do that sometimes. <laughs> um, just because, you know, you end up getting so many different progress um, keepers. And I think the progress keepers are so <sighs> much more fun a lot of times than some of the stitch markers are. So, And these are definitely a fun set. She did a fabulous job. The whole kit was very well put together. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That was my last acquisition. That's all she wrote. I did behave. And I really don't have... Um, I didn't I didn't even want to buy that book, so I really behaved. I don't even think I have other than... Mm. Donna's Club, maybe? Oh, I ordered the Harry Potter. Me too. <gasps> did I miss one of the fairy ones? Donna. <laughs> I'm going to have to look when I get, when we get done recording. Hopefully I don't forget. If I forget Donna, <gasps> message me. Um, I would have thought she'd message me if I missed it. I think that's the only thing I ordered. Because she's usually, I, I mean, I, I've purchased, I, I've not missed a fairy club since she started it. So that'd be rather upsetting. I'd have to be like, uh, Alicia and be going, Donna, I need you to make this. <laughs> So, yeah, so anything new the last couple weeks other than bugging your mom about what flavor crackers you like? I had a good Valentine's Day. She, she did. You're welcome. 
Should we tell the whole story? Okay, so, like, two weeks going up to Valentine's Day, like, every other day, like, a commercial would come on or something. I'd be like, oh, yeah, flowers and chocolate. You know, that's all a girl wants is flowers and chocolates. And I'd say that, like, every single couple days just to, like, get it into his head. Like, oh, yeah, that's a good gift. Flowers and chocolates. You know, a lot of women like flowers and chocolates. And then... I told him, I said, I'll be home. I was like, I normally go to bowling, but I was like, I bowled out, so I'll have the night off after work. I'll come home, and we can do whatever. And he's like, okay, what What are the plans? And I said, no, no, no. These are, I was like, this is your chance. I was like, this is your shot to show me how much you care right now. <laughs> oh, no, you, you missed the whole part about you contacting me. I am not there yet. Oh, you're not yet. there yet? Okay. continue so i was like no this is your chance to make plans and do something i'm like i do it every single day i'm tired of it give me one day that you do something so just to make sure <laughs> i texted mom <laughs> and i said hey can um you talk to my husband and you know just remind him that you know Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. He, he should, should probably, do something nice. He should probably do something nice. Just, just if you happen to talk to him. So there's me. I just pick up my phone. I go, Phil. <laughs> Reminder, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Code for <laughs> do something nice for your wife. <laughs> I'm texting her going, well, you don't have to make it like too obvious or yeah. anything. <laughs> I go, I went bold. I went bold. <laughs> so I got home and... I get a text message on my drive home, and he goes, so what do you like on your sandwich? I thought you were having pizza. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I was like, he's making me a sandwich. I'm like, that's you know, I'm like, that's better than what he does any other day. So, I mean, a sandwich. I'm like, wherever you step up. So, I get home, and there's pink roses waiting for me. There's chocolate, fresh chocolate-covered strawberries. <gasps> From Sweet Street. <laughs> oh, I've never had them from Sweet Street. I usually he have got them from Mom. Um, he got two of the milk edibles. Two of the milk chocolate and one of the white chocolate. And I was like, what made you think of that? And he's like, I heard a, a, a commercial. Cherry's Berries? <laughs> he's like, I heard a commercial for Sweet Street on my... Oh, for Sweet Street. Oh. He's like, I heard a commercial for Sweet Street. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what he did. And um, but he's making me a sandwich. And I was like, okay, what are we doing? He's like... Well, we're going to go see a movie, but Fifty Shades doesn't start until 7, and then that's a two-hour long movie, and, you know, we both have to work in the morning. I'm like, that's fine. And he goes, so let's go bowling. <laughs> Which I, that's where I was supposed to be, was bowling. But we went to a different alley, so it doesn't matter, and it was cheaper. So, and he goes, well, and then we're going to get pizza, too. And I was like, you're feeding me a sandwich, and now in an hour I'm going to have to eat pizza, too? I was like, I don't need all of this. You so don't eat like he does. I don't. I don't do this. And he's like, well, I. He's like, I wasn't going to eat in front of you. He's like, I haven't eaten all day, so I need something. So he'll eat. He'll eat both the sandwiches. And <laughs> well, he didn't want my sandwich, no. so I just put it in a sandwich container. I put it in the fridge, <laughs> and that's it. But yeah, and then we got pizza and we watched um probably This Is Us or Supernatural or something. And I went to bed. So that was that was good. That was a wonderful Valentine's Day. Your dad worked until seven, so I got a happy Valentine's text. <laughs> you know what? It's like whatever. We we're hard ones to get for anyways because yeah. we want something. We just you know we'll go out and buy it. But I would. You just wanted the thought, and you guys I are really married. I really wanted the thought because this past week or so, I've been feeling that I give more of the thought than he gives more of the thought. Well, that's pretty typical. That's you're, pretty typical. You're a female. He's a male. But this is, like, the first time in, like, this whole year. Like, we're almost a year into marriage. Yeah, well, And this is the first time that I'm really getting upset with him at all. He's going to have to give more thought again because your anniversary is coming up. <laughs> and then right I after that, that's my birthday. I <laughs> I should start prepping them now. So, yeah. yeah. So, are you going to uh, be casting anything new on or maybe finishing something? <laughs> like, I don't know, a sweater? I don't even want to think about the sweater. Like, <laughs> I 
maybe someday. You need to because you I really don't a want lot to burn into that. I really though. don't want to right now. Okay. Like that does not make me happy. So what are you going to do after you finish your hat? Well, I got two hats on the needles, which means I need to cast on another oh, two hats. Yeah. Sam wants a bunhole hat. Mm hmm So I have to, as soon as Pete's is done, I'll cast Sam's on. Gotcha. And plus Sam has yarn coming in this week. <laughs> gotcha. So. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to finish my shawl. And then I'm going to... <sighs> Cast on mitts and some hats because I have yarn stained up for two different hats. So, and they're both, I'll, I'll probably cast them both on because I'll need a project that, like, is a simpler one. Yeah. So, I might actually cast on three because I think both, both of mine are a little bit more where you have to follow, they're not just a mindless hat. Because I know like the one has crazy cables where you're using two cable needles. Mm -hmm. So that's probably not going to be one that I'll like want to take the knit night and be talking. You know yeah. what I mean? That'll be more I'm at home on my couch watching TV sort of thing and nobody's talking to me. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I think that's all we have for you guys. Um, speaking of hats, make sure you keep knitting them. Make sure you uh, get them posted in the FO thread. Uh, you can enter in adult hat and or baby child hats. There's a thread that says adult and FOs and one that says baby slash toddler or something. Baby child, I think. The baby child. Yeah. Full grown baby child. <laughs> Something like that. So get those enter entered. It goes all the way till March 31st. And as you've seen and heard, we have quite a few prizes that will be going out for that. And that might not be everything even. So who knows? Hard to say. <laughs> um, shop reminder. Remember, everything's free shipping. Go in check things US. out in the U.S. <laughs> Thank you. She, see, that's what she's here for. I'm the disclaimer. You're the disclaimer. <laughs> Um, I'm still looking at my leggings, and I'm, and I'm bothered that your father don't like them. Um, and he doesn't like mine either, so they might have Tigger on them. I mean, look how cute. They've got <laughs> blue roses. <laughs> he says he doesn't care for the orange. What do you guys think? I think they're kind of cute. Mine are Tigger. And ours are Tigger. Yes. We've been LuLaRoe shopping. And I got a new top on, too, that's, um... <laughs> really cute so it's kind of dress like though i think that's why it bothers me i don't know i saw really cute i got a new shawl on stuff. you do yeah i didn't have time to put anything on because well somebody was extremely early i don't know who that person is oh bt dubs guys if you like taco bell you should try the nacho fries bell grande <laughs> oh nacho fries because i tried just the nacho fries not a fan. Okay, the nacho fries bel grande mm -hmm. is sour cream, cheese, meat, tomato. Okay. Might oh. have to try it. So I was, when we went there um, on one of your dad's cheat days, I was so disappointed. So we got the nacho fries. I got a, I don't know, whatever it was, like a double, double cooked, grilled, whatever, steak burrito. And I kind of figured, you know, it wasn't going to be like a Mexican a Mexican burrito. They're That's like, fine. They're like this big. It was decent sized, consider, but I couldn't find no steak. No. Why are you going to charge me steak prices and then give me these two shreds? <laughs> it was so stuffed full, full with rice. Yeah. And I'm not a rice person. You know, it's okay for a burrito to have rice if it's mm -hmm. got a lot of other stuff with yeah. it. And I'm very much a meat person, so I wanted that steak. I made Phil the General Chow chicken and teriyaki rice and put it in a bowl together. It cost me like five bucks to cook. And he loved it. And Zoe wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, so, yeah, all right, we're going to... Us rambling. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> that's oh, what well. you get from us sometimes. I felt like there was something else we needed to tell them, but I can't remember. Quit down our video <laughs> <laughs> so yeah if you did enjoy us give us a thumbs up 
comment. We, we love uh, getting comments and seeing the thumbs up and interacting with you guys. You know, it really, you know, pushes my self-worth, you know? <laughs> she needs it. I mean, the girl doesn't even know what flavor crackers she likes, so I mean... <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I was telling about it at work, too. Of course you yeah, were. Of course I was. So, we will see you in two weeks, guys. Bye.